yesterday, even introducing the concept of the three pillars of sustainability and refocusing on economy and having sustainability be integrated with economy is an amazing concept to be able to communicate to the people that are a little hesitant about understanding what we can do uh, as far as making our cities more sustainable and more resilient um, and to adapt to climate change that is, um, you know, I think it's quite frightening the amount of talk there is about climate change, but actual adaptation towards climate change for cities requires creative thought and um, the funding mechanisms can be quite difficult. And I think a lot of us have realized that downloading from the province, downloading from the federal government has made it quite difficult for small cities to be able to be sustainable and look to the future because we're always doing catch up with infrastructure. We actually were funded by the Green Municipal Funds when we first um, took our oceanfront over from a uh, chemical plant. We were in need of brownfield remediation and the Green Municipal Funds were an amazing asset for us. We couldn't have done it without having uh, not only the funds to implement the change in the brownfield site, but having the expertise that comes along with the Green Municipal Funds.